Now to the shelter crisis, which has cost the state millions of dollars, and the trend is showing no signs of stopping anytime soon. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has the numbers and what our congressional delegation is asking for. Expenses are only increasing when it comes to the emergency shelter crisis, and the state's delegation is pleading to the Biden administration for help. Massachusetts congressional members sent a letter to the administration this week calling for funding. In the letter, the delegation asks for federal support for the surge Massachusetts is seeing in migrants. They feel like Massachusetts and other interior states are being left behind when it comes to shelter and services program funding. At the start of August, Governor Maury Healy declared a state of emergency due to the amount of people seeking shelter, leaving the state to turn people away and implement a wait list. According to the letter, around 30 to 40 families arrive every day in Massachusetts seeking shelter, but only 15 to 20 families are exiting daily. About 800 families are being housed in western Massachusetts, including in West Springfield, Chicopee, Greenfield, and Hadley. This is a national problem. This is not just a Massachusetts problem. It's not just a Oregon or California problem. It's a national challenge. To assist with this crisis, Massachusetts has only received about $2 million from the federal government, which is only a tiny fraction compared to what the state is spending. It is estimated that $264 million was spent in fiscal year 2023 on family emergency shelter. In fiscal year 2024, the budget allocated $325 million for shelters. In this week, the legislature agreed on an additional $250 million to be infused into the shelter crisis. There are currently over 7,500 families in emergency shelter and 208 families on the waiting list, a number that only continues to grow. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming and 22 News.